All right, I've got a fresh target set up down there. I'm gonna shoot uh, these 240 grain Hornady XTPs. They chronograph going about 850, so that's pretty mild, so we'll see how they shoot. We'll walk up here and see what the groups look like. I can see from here that I might have, might have had a flinch. But. So these two I think are about right. We'll put a mark on them. I'm not sure what's happened that one. That was from the previous target. So Yeah, not a great group. We'll give it a try again. So I'll shoot another three shot group with this. I had that first shot I might have pulled it a little bit. I'm not going to blame that one on the gun quite yet. So those three shots weren't bad. They weren't terrible. One, two, three. I'm used to shooting them Rugers and this gun's got a little different feel. Not gonna blame it on anything, but that's, you know, maybe a three inch group. We'll go give it another try. All right, we're gonna shoot another group with this. See if I can tighten them up just a little bit. Well, grab a look, see how that one went. You know, group size is about the same on this one. So I got one, two, three. Still about that three inch. I mean, the point of impact's pretty good. So I've got some 300 grain bullets loaded. Those ones are chronographed. Um, I'm gonna give them a try. Let's see how they shoot. Alrighty, so for this load, it's gonna be a 300 grain Sierra. That same nine grains of Universal. We chronographed them. And they were only going just over 800 feet per second. So it's a really mild load. Uh, that friend of mine told me that this gun is a little slower than his Ruger's. That's kind of the experience I'm seeing too. We'll give her a shot, see how the accuracy is on it. Well, it seems like those 300 greeners a little better. That group's maybe a couple inches. Um, 
much better. This is the, the target with the 240 grain bullets. This is that 300 grain. That's not, not terrible. Um, I think with some load development, they're going to sink so slow. Um, you can see here, this is the point I was aiming at. The 300 grainers are shooting quite high, um, quite a bit higher than here. I think if a guy speeded those up a little, you'd get your point of impact a little better. But uh, that's not a terrible group. I, I could probably live with that. We'll, we'll shoot one more and see how they go. So I'm gonna shoot one more three shot group with this 300 grain load, see how it does. Those first three shots weren't too bad. Well, not really having a great day. The, these were the first three shots. These were the next three. So yeah, I'm not sure what's happening. I got one more load I want to try with this. But uh, yeah, that one's not that fancy. So I got one more load I want to try with this. This guy is a 315 grain hard cast bullet. Um, I made it at home here myself. It's got a gas check on it. This load's a little hot. It's 16 grains of 2400. I've chronographed it out of my 7 inch Ruger and it's going about 1200 feet. When you touch this guy off, you know something's going on. This gun seems to be a little bit slower, but this hotter load may shoot better in it. So I've marked all the holes up there on that last target and I'll give these guys a try, see where they hit. Yeah, that's quite a difference. You know, it's not really terribly uncomfortable. Uh, those other loads are pretty pretty mild. This guy's got a little horsepower behind it. Yeah, that one's yeah, that's that's a little different load there. That's not something you want to go to the range all day and shoot. You know, but for guys hunting big game, even up to elk or bear, I think that'd be a great load. Well, let's go see how that guy will shoot. Well, that's one of the best groups of the day. A lot of holes there, but there's one, two, three. You know, I'm guessing that'd be around two inches or so. Um, not, not a bad group. I could live with it if a shoot consistent that way. Seemed to like that bullet, and I think what it boils down to is they need to be just a little bit hotter. Um, I shot one group earlier with these 240 grain bullets. I didn't get on the video, but it was pretty good. So I think the gun is maybe just one of those guns that's a little bit fussy with uh, with its loads, but it kind of liked those hot 300 grainers. Uh, point of impact was right on, um, and that's that's not a terrible group. I could probably live with that. So there's the Virginia Dragoon. You know, I've had a little fun with this gun. Um, it, it's got an interesting feel. It feels to me like an overgrown Blackhawk. Uh, for me, my hands are exceptionally large. Um, the Bisley grip frame fits me a lot better. Um, I've got a, a Blackhawk in 45 that I really, really like, but this is just a little bigger grip. I mean, the, the gun's big, it's robust, it's a heavy gun. Um, like I say, a friend of mine that's got one that says that it shoots he thinks that the dimensions are just a little bit looser than on a Blackhawk, and I'd have to agree with that. I measured the cylinder throats. They were, uh, they were 436. My Rugers are that 431, 432 range. So, so this is a little bit bigger. That might explain why these loads are a little bit light. They're just, the, the, there's just not the pressure there, or there's getting a little pressure around that bullet. Um, I almost feel like the, the barrel might be just a little bit loose. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, it's a little bit rough. Um, I don't know, I, you know, the gun doesn't shoot terrible. It, it doesn't. Um, I've shot that last group of those 300 grain bullets, or the 300, excuse me, 315 grain hard cast bullets, shot those pretty good. And you know, there's the arbitration factor, especially with cast bullets. Um, if you got a bore that's a little bit large, this one, like I say, has been rough, you know, I might, that might be the load for it is that 315 grain it's not fun to shoot it's not comfortable but uh you know for taking big game 
that, that'd be a pretty good setup. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't hesitate a bit with that. So anyway, I'll keep you guys. I'll I'll try to keep shooting this. I want to put maybe a few hundred rounds of these jacketed bolts through it. Uh, kind of do the shoot 20, 30 rounds, clean the barrel, come shoot 20, 30 rounds again. But uh, I'll do another follow-up video on this in a few months and, and see if that barrel gets cleaned up or see how it's shooting. But uh, had a lot of fun with this gun. I didn't pay a lot for it. You know, the, the grips don't fit real well. I might play with that and kind of fit them a little better. But uh, I'll tell you, that the action and the trigger on this thing is superb. It has got a phenomenally good trigger. Uh, I've, I've worked on one of my Rugers. It's got a trigger really nice now, but it took some work to do it. So anyway, had some fun with this. Wanted to share it with you. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button.